Welcome back. Uh, today was uh, arm and shoulder day, and I know if you've read any of my fitness blogs, you know that uh, I've mentioned the total gym several times. This is my total gym. Now, if you've seen this on television, you've seen Chuck Norris, Christy Brinkley, Wesley Snipes, Mrs. Chuck Norris. They've all been on one of these things, and they're telling what a great machine it is. And I'll tell you the truth. They're absolutely right. This is one of the best exercise alternatives to weights you can find. This is a great muscle developer, it is a great machine, and it does everything they'll say it do if you use it. The problem is, of course, is a lot of people buy these things and uh, don't use it. That's how I ended up getting this thing at a yard sale for 10 bucks. Now, since that time, uh, I didn't use it at first, and now I do use it quite often, but I have had to replace the two sets of roller wheels that they have under this thing which allow this thing to travel. You'll see that in a second. They were $25 a set. That included shipping and handling. So uh, I $10 to buy this and then $25 on each occasion. So a total of $60 is what this thing has cost me to have a functional working unit. It is worth every penny of it. Right now I have the resistance set up at level 7 which is the highest level on this. The newer machines have 14 levels. doesn't make it any higher. It just gives you intermediate levels instead of just the original 7. So it's now 14 steps up to the same height. At level 7, I'm lifting approximately, so I think it was just like, uh, well, pretty much 70 pounds out of 185. So that's what I weigh. That's about what I'm getting on weight. Which means that when I do the bicep curls here, I'm going to be lifting 35 pounds per hand because it is two pulleys that will be lifting together. So the entire weight of 70 will be split between both hands. That's how it works. And this is how a bicep curl is done on a total gym. You suit yourself down to where your legs are just over the edge of the board. Keep your back straight. This is very important here. With a total gym, the advantage of keeping your back straight up means that you're working your core, your abdominal, your abdominal muscles at all times. That gives you extra strength and pretty much you get a little extra out of it and it burns calories and that's what you're trying to do. Very simple to use this. All you have to do is you've got your arm started at the extension point. You notice my shoulders are up square, my back is up straight. I'll keep those straight and I'll just go ahead and curl the weight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Okay, now, manufacturer recommends, or the object recommends, two sets of 15. I did one set before I started this. I'm going to go ahead and do the second set of tricep extensions now. Um, you notice one thing. I came up quick. I released slow. I didn't quite lock out at the end. I pulled on back up again. The point is, is to resist gravity. It's called negatives. Those are what will build strong, lean muscle quickly. And that's what we want here. We want long, strong, clean muscles that burn a lot of fat. That's what the whole point is, is to burn that fat off the body. Long, lean muscle tissue is built by resisting gravity. That's why heavier weights, bigger muscles, because you're resisting more gravity. You don't have to have great big muscles in order to be able to burn fat. All you have to do is have good, lean, firm muscles. You're looking for tone here. If you want to get bigger, you can do that with this too, but it does take a little bit of different effort. Right now, let me show you the triceps. Very easy to do, actually. You step back here on the slide. Now you're on the slide portion of it. You're going to lean back. You'll notice I'm going to leave enough room Excuse me. I'm leave enough room to put my heels on the end so I can keep my feet off of the floor. My hands are straight down and they're just above my stomach. I want to keep my elbows at my side. Then I will slowly come up and press down. That's one. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right. Okay. So today I showed you on the pole gym here, biceps, triceps. Easy movements, but if you're just thinking about getting a total gym instead of a weight bench, be a good consideration, but you've got to pay attention to the manual. Hey, I'm Fred. You have a blessed day.